Last thing I'm going to do with Spider-Man No Way Home trailer breakdown. This is my first time ever doing this. Or trailer breakdown wise. So let's come on into it. So let's start off. Ever since I got bit by that spider. So right off the bat he does mention the spider. Which we, we um. The only first time we ever see Spider-Man in the MCU is when he jumps into Silver War. So it is kind of nice to hear that. Um, we'll see if it like, maybe goes farther into that in the movie. But yeah, continue on. I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. I didn't need to. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the in the background right there from the very first trailer we see that exact same scene but they have changed the background up a little bit so it looks more wintry because this movie takes place during december like christmas time so they did change that need a parker spider-man we started getting some visitors this is the first time we're seeing the goblin from every universe Green Goblin, so that's cool. And here we have black and gold suit, which this is um, the red and black suit flipped around because Mysterio does throw green goo on it. Or, oh, Mysterio's follower, sorry. But yeah, and well, this we get, we get a better view with this suit later, so I'll, sh I'll explain more about it. Hello, Peter. Here, I have a cool detail, and I'll um, shout out to the Canadian lad, a Marvel breakdown YouTuber. But I did get this detail, so if you wind it here. So notice how Peter, Hello, Peter. when Dr. Octopus puts the, the suit down, he goes in. You're not Peter Bunker. Right there, Dr. Octopus does mention Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Um, by saying he's not Peter Parker, because he's obviously from the Tobey Maguire universe. And that's pretty cool. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your... Right there, you can see Ned holding a crossbow, and then they're making fun of Dr. Octopus's name. So, yeah. And then you can also see MJ's necklace, which is broken after um, Spider-Man, far from home after it broke in that movie. You can see it's cracked, and she still wears it, so it's cool. Actual name. There are the and there, they're rebuilding the Statue of Liberty. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So. We'll pause it here. So you can see that it looks like Electro. Maybe that's the first time he gets into the MCU because he's glowing blue more than he is like his actual new color in the movie. And you can see duct tape straps on Spider-Man's arms, and you can see a phone there. So that's a little strange, and you can see the phone, and you can see um, MJ and Ned on there. But maybe that's what the suit actually looks like in the inside. But then he's using some Doctor Strange magic, probably to catch this, um, Electro. But yeah, the suit looks pretty cool. I'm excited to see it in action. Scooby-Doo this crap! You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. Let's see Electro and Sandman combining, and then we get a new sh I think, I, I don't know if this is a new shot, but we get J. Jonah Jameson. We're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. And right here, some of it doesn't make sense because Sandman and, um, the lizard don't technically die fighting um, Andrew Garfield and Sam, but there is a theory that um, Sandman does get, because um, if you watch Spider-Man 3 again, the Sandman, you can see that he does get caught in like mud, and then he does, so maybe he gets teleported from there after the water hits him. And then as of the lizard goes, I don't quite know. Their fate. Right here, there is theories that Aunt May's gonna die, and that's him jumping for the pumpkin bomb that Green Goblin throws there, because you can see Aunt May running later in the trailer. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. And that's the base of the Lego says based off of. That's a pretty cool scene. We did get further footage of that. Um, 
But he does make a portal. He does makes two portals connecting, so he basically hits his foot with the web. And then he has the box, which is actually a big part of the movie, and it's what can lock the, I was gonna send them back to their universes, and it keeps them imprisoned in the Sanctum Santorum, so that does play a pretty big part in the movie. And you can see even farther in the trailer in the final battle scene. Look, there has to be another way! And this scene is basically, we'll go back to the, right here. And that's all this they actually changed this in a TV spot, so it's more of like a city and the, it's pretty so they did change this and they kinda of faked this there on that one. But yeah. Look, there has to be another way! There is there a day. Like I said earlier. Right there. There is There are danger to our you And right here, he's getting the eye he breaks the iron spider suit and it looks like he's like getting some nanotech on his arms. But there's a theory that since it's part of the nanotech suit now that Spider-Man will use it, be able to control it, and that's what closes his tentacles. But that's just the theory. First. And then right there, I don't know if I can get to the exact moment. First. But when he swings down that, you can see his eyes almost look, almost look like um, Andrew Garfield's eyes, and they just edited the body. Personally, I don't believe it, um, but yeah. You're not going to take this away from me. Electro has his classic look with the crown, like the Stark. So that's really cool to see that. I'm loving Electro's new look. I'm glad they did that for him. I don't think he looked very good in um, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Because that was more of his ultimate comic look. But I do like this one more. I'm take this away from me. Well, we got Electro blasting Dr. Octopus. Which means he'll probably actually maybe turn good. Because in Spider-Man 2 he does turn good. But we'll have to see. And then we have Spider-Man jumping off with the box. You can notice in his hand. You're struggling to have everything you want while the world tries to see another look. You want while the world. And then here's the new suit, and this is you can actually there's at least photos online, but that he his original suit does get a little dismantled and broken, so he borrows the um goggles from Doctor Octopus, and then um puts all that stuff on. And that's his new outfit. I'm personally not a fan of it, but it is more comic accurate than the other ones. Tries to make you choose. Then right here, is part this of the is biggest movie scene. I can't save everyone. And people, because just because the lizard and Electro are totally not jumping towards the Tom Holland Spider-Man, which I actually believe this too, they edited out the other two Spider-Man in it. Um, but yeah, then the Brazilian trailer, you can see the lizard get punched by like an invisible person. So that's kind of, this, this, they've edited them out, which I personally do, I mean, I'm kind of happy, because I do want to be saved for this, um, theaters as well, but yeah, and that's a really cool shot. This is definitely one of some of the amazing Spider-Man 2, because I personally believe this will be like a redemption for, um, Andrew Garfield, and will probably catch MJ, and then, yeah, but that'll be a pretty cool scene. And then this may be where the other Spider-Man come through with this one, but maybe. December 17th, exclusively in movie theaters. Tickets on sale November 29th. So yeah, that's my breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. See you